Are you the local drug dealer in your neighborhood and you're looking to make delivery safely from the sofa in your living room? Or perhaps you just want to egg someone's car from a safe distance. Or perhaps you just want to drop random items into your neighbor's yard just to mess with them. Well, all these things are possible with my new little gizmo. But I hear you thinking, hmm, Fred Nick, that just looks like a bunch of random wires, cheap electronic components, all held together by electrical tape. <laughs> you might have a point. Uh, I'm probably not gonna win any awards for uh, design beauty here, but it does work. And what it does is it attaches to a photography drone and as I've shown in a previous video, photography drones, particularly these DJI ones, have a decent cargo load. That is, you can string 2.2 pounds or one kilo worth of cargo below these drones, but the problem has always been how do you release that cargo? And that's what this little gizmo is gonna do for you. You're gonna attach this and you can release the cargo anywhere you like. And what's great is because it's a photography drone, you can aim the camera down so you can see exactly where you're gonna drop your load. The possibilities are endless. Uh, so yeah, today we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make this ugly little device and I'm gonna demonstrate how it works with the drone. So many possibilities. If you've gone and bought yourself a drone and you're wondering, eh, took a photo of my house, crashed it into a tree, what am I gonna do with it now? Now you can turn it into a drone cargo release device or a drone bomber perhaps. Anyway, on with uh, how to make the little cargo release mechanism. I'm surprised no one does this commercially. There's probably laws against this, so I'm not responsible for anything stupid you guys do with your drones. I'll just show you how, and <laughs> the rest of it's up to you guys to figure out the legal ramifications behind doing this. So, there are three main components to a payload release mechanism. The most important one is this little doodacky here called a serverless payload release. Uh, it's actually designed to go on remote control aircraft, but it will work with any remote control system. And if you have a look, there's a little bar there, and when, it, um, when it's actuated, when it's activated, the little bar pulls back and drops whatever is being carried by this uh, little servo. So, we need something to activate this, which is a control module, a receiver unit. Um, this is a standard uh, 2.4 gigahertz receiver unit, and you can also, oh, this, this costs about $25. I'll put, all the, uh, I'll put a link to all the components I've bought, purchased here in the uh, description below. Um, this is a standard uh, re uh, remote control car uh, receiver unit. I actually pulled it out of one of Tui's old cars. You can just see one here. Uh, they're nice and light, uh, and they're pretty easy to wire up. Um, the only problem, of course, coming out of a remote control car is that the battery is huge, and we don't want to be lifting this big old heavy battery um, into the sky. So I went and purchased a lightweight battery. As long as it is the uh, 7.2 volt batteries, it will work with this, um, with this configuration. So there we have it. We have the, the release mechanism, the receiver. I put a, uh, a little on-off switch there as well and a battery. And this whole uh, set of components is still very light. It's actually about 50 grams or under two ounces in weight. So you're really not eating into your payload too much there. But because I'm um, using a receiver from a remote control car, I am actually having to use the transmitter from a remote control car, which isn't ideal. Um, if I was doing this properly, I should take this apart and just get the switch out of here that I need. But for the purposes of this exercise, we'll just use this controller for now. Besides which, this controller's got a nice decent range as well. So we have one controller for the, um, for the drone and one controller for the payload release. Okay, so to put it together, it's pretty simple. I plug the battery in into here. Then I plug the, um, the release mechanism, the this, this, this serverless payload release into the second controller here. Second controllers with the throttle here. Uh, I could have a second one of these if I wished. Um, if I wanted to drop two bombs or two, two cargos, I could plug a second one into the first one and that would be on the steering control. And then it should be just a matter of turning it on. Uh, we get a light on the servo and then when we turn on the remote controller here, we get a light, we should get a light on the, yep, we get a light on the uh, receiver. And now it should just be a matter of me 
pressing the throttle, and there we go. We release. So now, uh, this whole set of componentry just needs to be tied together somehow, <laughs> masking tape, whatever you want to do, and then applied to the bottom of the drone. And we'll take it out and uh, drop some um, payloads. So to tie it all together, I just got some electrical tape and stuck it all <laughs> onto the servo. I know it's a little bit rough, but it actually works. And what I've done is I've had the aerial from the receiver come down the bottom because you want that as far away from the drone as possible. And then all the other electrical cables I'll just tie around the top. Um, but because the weight is on the servo, which of course is how we're going to tie it to the drone, it, the rest of it just has to make sure that it doesn't fly off. So the tape is more than enough for that. Okay, so put some electrical tape around the transmitter and the battery to hold it onto the servo. Uh, and had the switch in there as well. And there's the transmitter and I had the, uh, the aerial dangling downwards so that it gets the best transmission. And then just <laughs> put the rest of it on with a bit of electrical tape. Now we need to fasten it to the, um, to the drone and how you fasten it to the drone is completely dependent on the type of drone you've got. Uh, I think for, for my drone, I'm just gonna use a, a couple of strands of electrical wire because it's strong um, and it's still a little flexible and I'm just gonna put the electrical wire through, um, through here and then twist it tight like so, and the same with this one, like so. Yeah, and that's nice and firm. Now, this needs to be now fixed to the bottom of the drone here, and we're just gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna find approximately the center, and twist it on there, like so. Get this as close to the middle as you can. There we go. So now the device is fairly securely fastened to the bottom of the drone. We're ready for our first, we're ready for our test run. Okay, so here's a demo of how it works. Becky, if you could stop looking at your phone. <laughs> the payload mechanism is strapped to the bottom of the drone and all I have to do it's a little awkward holding it and doing this, but is pull the little lever back, like so, back there, and put the payload in. What I'm doing, what we're going to do here is going to try and drop this uh, unicorn blood on one of the dogs. No unicorns were harmed. <laughs> okay. So the payload is now secured. Get it nicely lined up, and all we need to do now is lift the drone off, and we we aim the payload with the camera, and uh, see how we go. So a bit of a near miss there, but you can see how it works. Pretty cool, huh? Just release with this button, any payload you like. <laughs> <laughs> 